your sleuthing skills these days, Jennifer? Are you up for a challenge? Definitely. What's up, Uncle Basil? Well, your Aunt Miranda's in a bit of a fix. She has to do a story on the annual All Britain Prevaricators Contest. And she can't figure out who to interview. Prevaricator? What's that? A fibber, a fabulist, a fabricator, a falsifier, a perjurer, a pseudologist. Plainly speaking, a liar. Aunt Miranda's covering a contest for liars? Weird. And difficult, too. She's having the dickens of a time figuring it all out. Perhaps you could give her a hand. For sure, Uncle Basil. Let's go. We're on the case. Aunt Miranda sure does look puzzled. I wonder what all those notes are. Thank goodness you two are here. I'm in a dreadful pickle. My editors asked me to write a story on the annual All Britain Prevaricators Contest held at the Phaeton Club yesterday. But no one will tell me who won. Why not, a &M? Is it some kind of big secret or something? No, nothing of the sort. It's just that they're all a pack of liars. One of the rules of the contest is that none of the participants may tell the truth the entire time that the group is in London. It's a matter of pride with them. They're being most stubborn. I've managed to suss out the three top contestants from this photo taken just before the last fibbing round. Their names are Tommy O'Leary, Angus McPeel and Lloyd Gregory. I've talked to all three of them, but it was like talking to madmen. I couldn't get a straight answer out of any of them. Don't worry, NM. We will take a shot at it. I bet we can unravel this mystery. Colonel Sweeney lives next door to Uncle Basil. He's been a member of the Phaeton Club forever. The Prevaricators Club has held their annual Liars Contest here for the last 15 years. Quite a show, really. The top liars in each of the British nations come together to see who can tell the tallest tale. I thought Britain was all one country, England. What other nations are there? Oh no, the United Kingdom is made up of four different nations. England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Of course, many people just shorten United Kingdom to UK. Dreadful habit, really, turning everything into initials. You're welcome to have a look in my atlas here. It has a map that shows the whole United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Great Britain is the name of the island where you now stand. Thanks. Can you tell us who won the lying contest? Sorry, Jennifer, I'm not a member, so I wasn't allowed in to watch the contest, even though it was held right here in my club. I've heard of Scotland and Northern Ireland, but where is Wales? If we stand in London and look towards Wales, which compass direction are we facing? That's right. Wales is west of where we are in England. Scotland is north. Northern Ireland is northwest across the Irish Sea from the British coast. That must be Tommy O'Leary. Let's see if he'll tell us who won the Liars Contest. Sure, and it was a grand event. But a liar's contest? Whatever can you mean? It was the annual indoor fireworks display. Myself and all the rest of the Grand Masters were there, sparking up a storm. My s Why, we had sparklers spinning off the chandeliers, and fire fountains spraying red, blue and green sparks, till the room was blinding bright to see. Indoor fireworks? Somehow I can't believe that either the Phaeton Club or the London Fire Marshal would allow that. And it was my dozen rocket salutes I should have won the day. I say, but the luck of the Irish had slipped from me, and a man with the beer took the prize.
I bet that man in the kilt is Angus McPeel. Let's see if we can get him to tell us anything about the contest. Prevaricators Club? No, yeah, lassie, that name's just a cover. The meeting yesterday was a wee contest of wills between those masters of telepathy, the British Brain Bashers. The game was to use only the power of our minds to move a cabbage across the table. Hmm. This sounds like one of those famous Prevaricators Club tall tales to me. As Highland Haggis moving champ myself, I struggled fiercely to transport the vegetable. But I'll tell you true, it was a black-haired fellow who won the contest yesterday. like we've missed Mr. Gregory's speech, but no biggie. We know it would have been a bunch of made-up stories anyhow. Let's see if we can get him to tell us anything about the Liars' Contest. Liars' Contest? Why, there's no such thing. Yesterday was a meeting of the International Seed Spitters Association, of which I'm proud to say I'm a charter member. It was an historic tournament. We noshed on all manner of seedy fruits, watermelons, cherries, even the exotic tamarind, then spat the seeds out with heroic force and distance. A spitting contest? At the Phaeton Club? Yeah, right. The spitting continued for five hours until the room was knee-deep in seeds of every imaginable size and a winner had been declared. I wish I could say I'd triumphed with my last orange pip, but alas, it was a fellow with eyes of green who took the day. The biggest clue here is that everything our suspects have told us is definitely a lie. Let's have a really close look at the descriptions they've given us of the winner and make sure we choose the suspect that doesn't fit any of those descriptions. Whew! Out of all those yarns, we've got to find the one thread that will lead us to the winner of the Liars' Contest. Pick out the clues that you think prove who the real winner was. we need to prove our case. You got it! Lloyd Gregory is the lying champ. Anne Miranda told us that she was having trouble figuring out who won the Prevaricators Club's lying contest because each of the members she interviewed would only tell her lies. That was our biggest clue. Each of the finalists we talked to told us something about the winner of the contest, but like the rest of their stories, that fact was a lie. The Scottish champ, Angus McPeel, told us that the winner had black hair. Lloyd Gregory, the Welsh prevaricator, told us that the winner had green eyes. Tommy O'Leary, the Irish fibbing champion, told us that the winner had a beard. But since we knew that the members of the Prevaricators Club will only tell lies this weekend, we figured out that the winner was really the only finalist who doesn't have black hair, a beard, or green eyes. Lloyd Gregory. Thank you.